Mixed martial arts is one of the most dangerous sports in the world. There are very limited rules, and a fighter can freely use all his weapons to defeat their opponent. Now, even though we've moved on from the time of gruesome bloodbaths and a bunch of knuckleheads hurting each other for money, there are still some incidents that remind us of the good old days. Today, we'll be looking at Gregory Rodriguez's comeback win after suffering a brutal cut. First up, the insane cut on the forehead. Last week at UFC Vegas 60, we saw one of the wildest displays of ruthlessness inside the octagon. Rodriguez made his octagon debut in 2021, and for his fifth fight in the promotion, he took on Chitty in Jikuani. The fight lived up to the expectations. It was all violence from the very first exchange. Just a few minutes into the first round, Rodriguez got cut pretty badly right between his eyes. The cut was as wide and deep as it gets. It was hard to look at. According to the Athletic Commission, any cut above the eye line that has a risk of blood flow into the eye should result in the bout ending. People on Twitter and even the commentary team thought the fight should be stopped, but the referee made a judgment call. As big as the gash was, it wasn't spilling that much blood, and Rodriguez's vision wasn't at risk so the fight was allowed to continue. And it proved to be a great decision in hindsight. Gotta give props to the ref, Cutman, and the ringside physician. It could have proven to be a disaster in many cases. Next up, the fight of the night. All is well that ends well. As gruesome as the cut was, Gregory wasn't willing to quit in the face of adversity. The fight got into the second round, and Rodriguez ended up getting the TKO win over Chitty, via ground and pound. The fight was entertaining from start to finish, and even though we couldn't get the complete 15 minutes, the action and the drama were good enough for the UFC, and both gladiators were awarded a 50,000 bonus. Continuing the fight after suffering a blow like that was a big risk, and it paid off big time. Maybe the MMA gods are kind at times. The only thing that would have made it sweeter was if he got the performance of the night bonus as well. He's still walking away with 50 G's in the bank, so who cares? Now we'll be looking at some of the most gruesome cuts in UFC history. First up, we've got Brock Lesnar versus Kane Velasquez. The era of Lesnar was truly special for the sport. He was the first big star in the company's history. Lesnar defied all odds by winning the heavyweight title and defending it multiple times against the top guys. But he was about to face Cain Velasquez, who was a new generation fighter that could move like a welterweight. The fight didn't go in Brock's favor right from the beginning. His takedowns were defended, and he was picked apart on the feet, and got tagged on multiple occasions. Over time, a big scar opened up on Lesnar's cheek. It wasn't at a spot that would put the fight in jeopardy, but it looked massive. This was the time in which Brock grew out his beard, and walked down out to enter Sandman, with the commentary team in awe of his physical stature. It was like watching Hercules get cut and bloodied up. Lesnar ended up losing the fight via TKO after getting dominated. Looking back, it was the result we all should have expected when he was fighting a machine like Kane. But for the audience that watched it live, it was one of the most brutal, shocking performances. Next up, Overeem gets dropped at the last second. Speaking of heavyweights, we've got a much recent incident which happened during a fight between Alistair Overeem and Jarzinho Rosenstreich. The two contenders clashed in the five-round main event, and it looked like Overeem had the upper hand the entire time. The fight went into the fifth, and all the judges had scored three of the four rounds for the former Glory kickboxing champion. Just when it looked like he was about to cruise to a decision, Jarzinho landed a big right hand right on Overeem's mouth that cut his lips in two. Alistair fell back into the cage, and the fight was stopped instantly, with five seconds left. As soon as the ref stopped it, Overeem jumped back to his feet, which meant that he wasn't fully out and could have survived those five seconds to win the fight. But the vision of his lips did all the talking. As controversial as the finish was, all we could think about was the cut. Poor Alistair. Up next, the B 
EMF irony. One of the most bizarre events in UFC history took place in November of 2019, when Nate Diaz took on Jorge Masvidal in a five-round main event at Madison Square Garden. The fight had a lot of hype, mainly because the two guys involved in it were fan favorites and were considered real gangsters. The UFC decided to capitalize on that opportunity and make a BMF belt, which doesn't mean anything and it couldn't be defended. But we thought we'd at least get a proper scrap after the company sold its soul. The event was big. The Rock and the president of the USA were there. The fight itself was also very entertaining for as long as it lasted. Jorge won all three rounds and even knocked Diaz down multiple times. If you've seen the Diaz brothers fight, you know how often they get cut, which is what happened here as well. There was a big cut above Nate's eye, which led to the doctor stopping it at the end of the third. Many people thought the stoppage wasn't fair and the cut wasn't even that bad, but the biggest irony was how the fight for the baddest men in the sport got ended by a cut. Next up, one of the best fights of all time. Now, this one isn't about one fighter getting cut. At UFC 189, Robbie Lawler defended his welterweight title against Rory McDonald's. The two had previously fought once, and they were both in their prime for the rematch. It resulted in a fight that's argued to be the greatest mixed martial arts bout in history. Both men got cut, beaten, and bloodied up. Robbie's upper lip got sliced into two parts, and Rory had a big cut right on his nose that ultimately resulted in the end of the fight. The two fought with everything they had, and it was visible at the end of the fourth round when they both stared each other down while their faces were covered in blood, which is one of the most iconic MMA moments. Rory was ahead on the scoreboards, and we were midway through the fifth round when Rory's body gave in. The damage done to his nose was too much, and he just fell down on the ground in pain, and the fight was stopped immediately. These are the fights that can change a man's life. It was a sad day for Rory, who was seconds away from fulfilling his dream of becoming a UFC champion. The biggest tragedy was that despite the cut, the brain damage, and the performance, McDonald's walked home that night with only 70 grand. That's the sad reality of our sport. Up next, one more cut for the bad guy. At UFC 109, Chael Sonnen took on Nate Marquard for a fight that would determine the next opponent for Anderson Silva. The bad guy was a 5-1 to one underdog against Nate, who people expected to win pretty handedly. Chael was known for his dominant wrestling, but he and Marquard had wrestled together years ago, and it was always Nate who was the hammer. Chael knew going into the fight that he'd be taking a lot of damage from Nate no matter what happens, which is exactly how the fight played out. Chael was surprisingly the better wrestler and controlled Marquard on the ground for the better part of the 15 minutes. But it wasn't easy in any way. In the second round, Nate landed a huge elbow that opened a gigantic cut on Chael's forehead, which looked like there was an insect crawling in it. Sonnen described it as the worst thing he'd ever felt. He could hear it and see the blood flowing on his face. He was even worried that the referee would stop the fight, which fortunately never happened. He went in there with the mindset that he'll take a lot of damage, and all he has to do is give it right back. Chael got the unanimous decision and ended up fighting Silva for the title twice, which turned out to be one of the greatest rivalries of all time. Say what you want about Sonnen, he's as tough as they come. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the referees should let the fight continue after a big cut? Which incident on our list is the most memorable to you? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.